Good evening, my good tenor. Today, we're going to be talking about Mesa, a frame that is kind of a nuke frame. Well, more of like a room clearer. That's what I meant to say. She's a brilliant room clearer. However, if you get motion sickness, I would not suggest playing Mesa in normal missions because you're pretty much going to be doing something like this. Now, like all of my other videos on frames, we're going to briefly talk about the abilities and then hop into the build and then of course explain how to play her. Let's get into it. First ability is Ballistic Battery, which lets you store power into your guns and when it is maxed, you activate it again and your next shot does more damage. Her second ability is Shooting Gallery, which gives an ally extra damage while jamming the guns of nearby enemies. This is a great CC ability and the power shifts between allies as well. Her third ability is Shatter Shield, which is a brilliant damage reduction ability to an extent so you get up to 95 percent damage reduction for projectiles kind of like zephyr's ability but you're still susceptible to melee attacks and other forms of damage like slams and status effect but overall it's the ability that keeps mesa alive fourth ability is peacemaker now this is the attraction to mesa and it is a great room clearer basically you activate this and you proceed to shoot pistols at the speed of light and as you shoot your field of view lowers now it's important to know here the more strength you put in scales the damage multiplier and the more range you put in scales the field of view although range is useless for mesa which i will explain later on in the video and of course efficiency lowers the drain now this ability is average and i will explain later on in the video how to make it better because you need to put so much former and so much boosts in just to make this relatively decent also hit that like button so that orders won't annoy you anymore and hit that subscribe button as well. It really helps the channel out. Great, let's move on to the builds. Firstly, these setups are designed for Mesa's fourth ability since many of you will probably want to play Mesa to room clear and kill lots of enemies. Build number one, Eclipse Mesa. This is a three to four former setup, depending on if you have all the prime mods and umber mods, etc, etc. I do want to say that you do not need to throw on an umber former here. I just did it because I was testing and I need a capacity for a min max build. So yeah, you don't need it. Also, you do not need a Exodus slot. This is flexible. Fleeting expertise, rolling guard and uh, oh, oh crap. My man, max your mods, bro. <laughs> Anyway, max your mods, guys, it, it really helps. But only do it if you have a lot of former to do so, otherwise, pain. Umbral Intensify, Primed Continuity, Primed Flow, Narrow Minded, Umbral Vitality, and Chanting Fortitude. Growing Power and the Exodus is flexible. Great. Alternatively, you could drop Fleeting Expertise for Muzzle Flash for extra survivability. That works very well too. We use Eclipse because Mesa's Peacemaker pistols do not have Arcanes to boost the flat damage, so they benefit from flat damage boost. This is why Eclipse works really well for her pistols. We use Arcane Velocity here and I can tell you this makes a big difference. So I would highly suggest this Arcane because 120% fire rate is big. Like it's really big when it kicks in and it's just amazing overall. Then we use Energize as well for energy sustain. Otherwise this is flexible. You can use Arcane Avenger instead. This is also a great pick for Mesa. Build 2 Dispensary Mesa. This is literally for standing in one place and just killing everything while not having to worry about energy at all. Very similar setup but you just have to put equilibrium on and drop vitality although you are slightly more squishy in this build but you should still be fine with mace's 95 percent damage reduction from her third ability add blind rage and more strength then i use arcane velocity and efficiency to gain more duration but you can use avenger here too third build which is pillage mesa now this is an optional choice i used to love pillage but terrify is hands down one of the best armor stripping abilities right now it just sucks that you cannot armor strip acolytes but there is a problem with Terrify with Mesa. There is two things. One, Mesa's traditional bulls don't have range. Two, Terrify is heavy on energy. So the choice is if you want to armor strip, then pillage is the way. With growing power, you should drain about 80% of armor and then you just use your peacemakers with corrosive to finish them off. It's adequate enough to armor strip. I wouldn't suggest recasting it twice. It takes a bit long in my opinion. Remember, pillage scales off duration, not range. Now, here is the other choice as well with this build. You have two options. You can use Rolling Guard for the invulnerability, but you already have states of removal from Pillage. Alternatively, you can use Adaptation. This is up to you. 
but you are losing out on the three second invulnerability. It's your choice. Plus, you already have 95% damage reduction from Mace's third ability, so you should be good to go. Fourth build, general setup. This is a setup for literally people that are not in Steel Path or are just there or are just trying to get their primed mods as well. Firstly, I don't know what happened to my pistol amp auras, but just use pistol amp here. I think I might have transmuted them or something. The setup is pretty much the same, just not using the prime mods. And then you also put muzzle flash in the open slot. Arcanes, I deliberately left open because you can use what you have available. Great, moving on to her pistols. Her regulators are pretty much the same for all the builds, really. You want Pistol Gambit, Lethal Torrent, Jolt, Pathogen Rounds, Prime Target Cracker, Galvanized Diffusion, Primed Heated Charge, and Galvanized Shot. We use Galvanized Shot for when we prime certain enemies and we want to do more damage. Pretty simple, straightforward build, nothing fancy. Remember, Corrosive Strips Armor as well as Heat. But remember, Mesa's pistols basically have like no status chance at all. It barely procs anything. You have to shoot an enemy so many times. So don't rely on this specifically. There is an alternative. You can drop lethal for Hornet Strike for the raw damage boost, although I just prefer lethal torrent. This is the cheaper ball, the one that does not use primed mods. Also, ignore all the formers. That's just me testing this. This could be about three to four former. We also use the Mark 1 Furex with the Amalgam Furex body count mod, which gives us 45% fire rate to secondary weapons. We also use the Cedar and Epitar for priming as well. You can choose which one you want. Let's go into how to play her. All right, so I've hopped into the simulacrum. Let's show you how to play Mesa. It's actually very simple. It's nothing fancy. She's really straightforward. She's not complex. So you pretty much, and I can't escape. Thanks, Warframe. Bug frame. Yeah, I literally can't escape. And network not responding. There we go. Cool. So, firstly, when you go kill enemies, pressure three, pressure two, press one. You'll see you start getting shot and you'll notice that your third ability, remember it affects projectiles, right? So melees, everything like that, you will still take all normal damage. But as you can see, I'm not really taking a lot of damage from the projectiles. Yeah, it's busy burning through. But anyway, press four and you just shoot everything. And as you can see, as the field of view goes down, you start to do a little bit more damage. The damage scales and you start to shoot faster. But you don't actually want to play Mesa like that. You don't want to actually go all the way down. Because in most times, especially when it's just normal steel path, you will never really need to shoot an enemy that long because you do enough damage. The way you would normally play Mesa is like this. You kind of would just jump up, hop, shoot, jump up, hop. That's pretty much how you would play Mesa in terms of being agile and moving at the same time. So obviously this, I'm not getting the full Eclipse buff here because I'm using the wrong Simulacrum, lovely. But you kind of just want to move like that. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. You can stop, I'm not saying you mustn't stop, I'm not saying you must bounce around weirdly. You can just stop and shoot the enemy, no problem. But as you can see, the field of view there starts really high like that. It allows you to shoot a whole bunch of enemies around you and basically in a sense nuke in a certain direction. When the field of view goes down lower like this, you will see that I can't shoot the guy to the right there, obviously because the field of view goes lower. And when it goes super close, I can only shoot right there. Pretty simple. Easy to understand. And yeah. And that's literally how to play Mesa. In terms of the builds, it's the same thing. Regarding her second build, you pretty much just find a spot, whichever mission you're doing. It's good for defense or, or survival or anything like that. Throw it on your dispensary and just have fun with your fourth ability and just to literally spam your fourth ability. Just go in and out, in and out to reset the field of view. And it's that simple. Her third build, her pillage build, you just pop pillage and you literally just shoot. I can't leave again, bug frame. For pillage, you just press one. You'll see they are basically slightly armor stripped. You shoot them, your corrosive will do enough damage. There you go. You do quite a lot of damage that way, actually. It's pretty easy. After playing Mesa a little bit, here are my thoughts. So far, I haven't played her a lot, but these are my first impressions. 
She's great for missions where you can stand in one place and kill a lot of enemies to an extent. I don't think that she can go to level cap comfortably with her fourth ability as I feel like they will fall off eventually and they are lackluster without significant investment and boost. She doesn't really handle capture and exterminate well unless you have a high efficiency or you make another synergy where you don't utilize her fourth ability. I will revisit her in the future and make another video not utilizing her fourth ability and maybe making something else. Overall, great frame for room clearing and incredible satisfying to use for certain missions hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to see some more content i will see you all in the next one